All right, guys, what's going on? So today we are going to be talking about normal ordering fields. So we've, we're done talking quantum fields, and now we're going to get into the applications. We, I initially started off by introducing this section uh, by scattering, and I also have noted that I don't really like how the book is structured. It sort of takes scattering from a first look, and then it looks at it in a different way, and then it finally looks at it in the way that uh, is the most uh, con- that that is the most effective way to learn it, I think. And so I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to skip to the best parts uh, and to the parts that I think are most relevant. And I've organized this in a way so that hopefully it's easy to understand. So remember or recall if you like this channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Now let's get into the content. So we're talking about normal ordering fields. What exactly does normal ordering mean? Normal ordering basically means that we're going to, our fields contain creation and annihilation operators in them. And the idea behind normal ordering is that we want to take the fields that have, uh, we're going to split up the field so that uh, we have the uh, part of the field represented in terms of the uh, creation operators and then the other part of the field um, contains the annihilation operators. We've seen that the creation and annihilation operators are the the um, the weights on different on or, or different waves that satisfy the Schrodinger equation. So when we take a look here, when we just take a look at this guy right here, that is this right. So this is part of the solution to our our scalar field, our quantum scalar field. And this, it, this is the part that has e to the minus i k x in it. And the other part to this field is uh, e, e to the positive i k x. But in this, in this example here, we have q as, the, as being a different, mo, as being a different uh, form momentum for the particle that we're interested in. So this is our this, is a, this minus sign refers to the minus sign here. This positive sign refers to the positive on the exponential here. And the minus sign also, again, this correlates to with our uh, annihilation operators. And the positive sign here correlates to our creation operators. So well, let's just for, we can do this just for kicks. Let's see what happens when we create the commutator between uh, the field at some point x and the field at some point y. But these, again, are just parts of the field, right? So this part of the field is the annihilation part. This part of the field is the creation part. What we want to do, so we're taking that field, we're just looking at one field, we're taking that field, and we are taking a look at the relationship between the creation and annihilation operators at two different points in that field, okay? So this is the computation relationship, this guy minus this guy, just different orders, ordering in this part right here. We could take all the integrals out. So we have an integral over this part and an integral over this part. And what we see here is that we have our minus i k x. Here's our minus i k x. Here's our positive i q x, positive i q x. Then we have a, a dagger, a dagger, a. So that is encompassed in this commutation relationship here. All right. So far, so good. If I'm going too fast, you can feel free to pause the video. You can feel free to uh, take notes also. Um, you, you do you, essentially. Um, anyways, we then, to get from this step to this step, right, this is just a change in the com- this commutation relationship, which is right here. So from he- this, from here to here, this is just something we've derived before, right? This, this is a scalar field that we're looking at, and uh, the scalar field, uh, the commutation, this commutation relationship, and I am realizing right now that there needs to be a dagger right here. This commutation relationship right here looks like this. This is something we've derived before. 
okay? And so we have, uh, we have this relationship now, okay? Now we can reduce the one integral or the two integrals to the one integral with, um, with this delta function right here, right? Because this delta function selects out the part of the four momentum where these are the same, right? So if this is, if both are, if both of these are the same, then this is going to be zero, which zero times anything is zero, okay? So if this is, so th this here essentially makes all, everything, or not zero, if this is zero, then the whole thing is one, right? That's a relationship there with the delta function. So the, again, this delta function makes us change this Q to a K. It's going to make it change this K, this Q to a K. So we have an integral over the over DK and DK, right? So that's a, a really just an integral over one variable. So that's this variable right here. And then we take these two guys, multiply them together, multiply the denominators together and all this, and we get this relationship right here. So far, so good. And then just property of exponential, we get this. So the this relationship, this commutation relationship is a dynamical propagator where X and Y are different points in space time, right? This is the propagator, right? This is uh, what we've seen before. We, we've uh, define this to be the propagator in an earlier video. Uh, the reason we're calling it a propagator is because it is between two points in space time, right? At point X and point Y. If we were to look at a picture here, here's our oops, here's our point X, and here's our point Y. And to get from, we can get go from point X to point Y through this blue route, but we can also go from x to y uh, through this green route or this green route or this green route, right? The idea here is that we are summing over all the possible values of k, or this is not a route, sorry, these are not routes. That's why I have, this is a little bit confusing. Uh, these are, you, you see here, this is a, k equals one is this guy right here, right? This is no frequency. Uh, k equals 2 is this frequency. So this is a little bit misleading, actually. I shouldn't have done this. We're really just going from... We're really going just going from x to y, and we're summing over all the possible frequencies when we do that. Okay? this We're summing over k. All right. So, th so this... The propagator that takes us from this point in space-time to this point in space-time is the commutation relationship between these two uh, these two fields, or this field, and um, th this is the relationship, essentially, that takes us from point X to point Y, right? So initially we defined this as a propagator, and we sort of said that this is what it looked like, and now we're finding that this can be given, or can be derived by this relationship right here. So ignore the dog. I'm sorry if the walking of the dog is bugging you. But well, let's keep on going. So now let's take a step back. We haven't gotten to normal ordering yet. Normal ordering is going to come right now. So the idea here is that suppose now we take the field at x and y. Right. These are the full-on field, right? This is the field. It's got both commutation relationships in it. This is a field that's got both commutation relationships in it, right? These are both... They, they both satisfy uh, the Schrodinger equation, okay? Uh, in other words, they are wave-like in nature. And what we're going to do is we're going to split them up, right? We split them up. So we split this guy up into its, pos its uh, positive and its negative components, i.e., the uh, creation and annihilation components, again, creation and annihilation components at the other location y, or other location in space-time, right? We want to remember that x and y are points in space-time, points 
in space time. Okay, not points in space, right? We want to keep into account uh, our time, our temporal component to these, to these waves or to these fields, and the 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 positive and the negative components here they refer to the creation and then the annihilation parts of of the waves. All right. So we can expand this out. We just FOIL, right? Minus, minus, and then minus plus with the Y, and then plus, minus, plus, minus, and then plus, plus. So we got those guys. We're going to now expand this guy. We can, you can do this by yourself. This isn't terribly hard to show that this is equal to this, okay? Because we have a plus, minus, uh, minus plus. So we can see here that this relationship here is the same thing as, as this relationship here. And what we find out is that everything here, which is interesting, right? We have x, we have minus, we have a, a negative here, a negative sign, negative sign here, and a negative sign here. Okay. And then these two guys are positive. Right, so we can bunch all of this together. We can say that, I will make this a different color. Oop. We can make all these guys, we can bunch them all together and we could say, we're gonna normal order these. What does it mean to normal order? Normal ordering means that in all of the fields that are being multiplied by each other, the negative sign or the, the annihilation component is going to be placed first, right? So what do I mean by that? Here's the annihilate. This is an annihilation component of a field. This red is an annihilation component of a field. And this red right here is an annihilation component of a field or of the field that we're, that we're looking at. Well, not, I'm not going to deal with, um, with this guy yet. And the idea here is that normal ordering is everything. It's, it, normal ordering means that these are all to the right or all to the left of our feet of our field so the annihilation component comes first and then the creation component comes next right so we're saying we're sort of saying by definition that this here this guy right here it's underlined in red is equal to this plus this plus this plus this where everything that has a negative component or anything that has an annihilation component do it it's always on the right, it's always on the left side. It's always going to be acting on the ket uh, vector of some, of some quantum particle, right? And, and then we have this guy left over, which is this right here. So the, again, the idea is that we're, we're ordering with respect to the a creation and annihilation operators, where the annihilation is going to act first and then the creation is going to act second. That's the normal ordering. And then this guy here is also involved, but he, this guy here doesn't have a negative, uh, uh, this guy here doesn't have an annihilation component to it at all. So that, t that tells us, well, he can be placed anywhere. Right? We're just going to put, we're, we're going to, put him within the definition of this, even though it doesn't really, even though it doesn't really matter um, uh, that this is, uh, that, that this is, um, it doesn't really matter where it's placed. And so what does this mean? Well, this here we've defined to be the propagator. If we, then perform this calculation right here, we 
then um, we get this here. And if you pause the video, you can follow all of this, right? So we sandwich in between the operator, the cats, the bras and the cats, and then we get this. Okay. And my apologies for the sounds. And I, I realized I sort of went through it fast, but this, so we said this was all the definition. When we sandwich these guys in between, well, this is annihilating, this guy's annihilating, this guy's annihilating, this guy's annihilating. So these all go to zero, and this guy is annihilating also. Uh, and I'm realizing right now that this should be a positive. And the reason that this guy here is positive because this is when this acts on this vector here it goes to zero so the normal order will always result in zero if we place it in between something that looks like this taken together this means that these two are equal and and that um, uh, we want to keep this in mind also so that's normal ordering, and uh, again, my apologies for the sounds in the background, but if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that like, that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.